Hi guys, welcome to our channel. I'm Vi and together with my husband we are Vi Chalky Furniture. Uh, today we would like to show you our take on a gold leaf where, while we were restoring this mid-century dresser. It was quite simple and easy to do, but unfortunately due to me being silly, I've lost footage of me painting it black. Uh, well, the, the footage of a gold leaf application, however, is safe and sound and I hope you will enjoy this video and if you like please do subscribe and give us thumbs up and just like I said two seconds ago enjoy the video see you later we got this mid-century dresser from a Facebook marketplace and from the very start I knew I want to gold leaf it this piece was in a very good shape and we did not need a lot of time to restore it As always, we started from removing varnish with paint and varnish remover. All the products that we used during this restoration will be linked in the description box. If you want to know what we used and how to use it, please follow the links below the video. Leftovers from varnish remover were cleaned off with fine steel wool and the whole piece was washed with white spirit. To make the whole piece nice and smooth, Lucas sanded everything out with 220 and 240 grit sanding paper. And this is how it looks like after all the sanding and varnish remover and stripping and everything. Now it's ready to paint. Back of the mirrors and drawers were treated the same way as the rest of the piece and then painted with a walnut wood dye and coated with satin clear varnish.
just like I've mentioned before, I've lost footage of my persona painting this piece black, but I've managed to record how I tied the gold leaf and black paint together, and we will show you application with a closer look and detailed explanation, application of the gold leaf later in this video. To tie paint and gold leaf together, I used small paint brush and I feathered paint over the gold leaf to create illusion that the gold leaf is coming from underneath the paint. All this work was done, the whole piece was coated with varnish to protect gold leaf from losing its color. And finally, gold leaf application. I used a sponge to apply glue in the places where I wanted to gold leaf. Next, I took another more dense sponge to take excess glue off. Make sure that the glue is very thin, just enough to stick the gold leaf onto the piece. And make sure there's no bubbles and no excess glue, because it will show underneath the gold leaf. And this is important, gloves. Cotton gloves to prevent gold leaf to stick to your fingers and to stop any oils or residue coming from your hands onto the gold leaf. Before application, wrinkle your gold leaf a bit to make it less perfect. You will avoid straight lines to appear on your project that way. Wrinkle it, move it around a bit and top it to stick to the surface.
And at the end, the most important thing of all, that while you're wearing white clothes, you can always pretend you're a magician or a mime, just for fun. The gold leaf was left to dry for two to three hours to stick to the surface. I'm sure that you don't need to leave it for that long, but I wanted to be sure rather than sorry. And with soft brush, you can brush off any excess and it's done. And if you think that you need more gold leaf in more places, just add more glue and more gold leaf on top of it and it's done. your work you need to apply varnish with sponge applicator but very soft movements and do not press too hard to the surface so you won't remove any gold leaf by accident. project is done and now it's for you to decide gold leaf yay or nay. And that's it for today's video. Uh, I'm sure there are different methods of a gold leaf application, but this one really works for us. And I hope it will be useful for you and you, you, you'll be able to use it in your future projects. And if you like the video, please do subscri subscribe to boost our channel and keep us afloat. And I hope I'll see you in our next video. See you later guys. Bye bye. And thank you very much for watching. Bye.